Heather, thanks so much for joining us tonight at 530. As she's saying, I'm Jeannie Blalock here with Anthony Austin. And more than 100,000 people died from overdoses last year. Experts believe the stigma associated with this disease keeps people from seeking help. Tonight, Drew Cosgrave joins us after speaking to a former fire chief who is sharing his son's story, really opening up for the public. Yeah, it was a powerful interview. Glenn East was no stranger to helping drug addicts. He spent 33 years in the fire department, often responding to overdose calls. He says he missed all the signs when it came to his son, who was addicted to heroin, and now he's sharing his story, hoping to help others spot the signs. All three of our sons are Eagle Scouts. They were all involved in sports, go-kart racing, baseball, um, cross country track, mud bogging, four wheeling. I mean, we were doing it all. We are, we are a tight family. In 2014, Glenn East learned something about his son he never thought he would hear. His son was addicted to heroin and would spend the next six years in prison. It was more, I don't know, just, just a sadness that he didn't feel like he could come to us and say, hey, I need help. An eye opener for East, he decided to dive deeper and became an opioid response coordinator for Clay Behavioral Clinic where they have seen over 400 clients in starting the medication assistance treatment program in 2021. He shares his story so parents know what to look out for. He thought he would be able to spot signs, and he says it's not that easy. They become masters of, or at least they think they're masters of, trying to, to hide and manipulate so other people don't know, but they also don't want other people to be burdened with what they're doing. Last year, more than 100,000 people died from an overdose. Experts believe the reason that number is so high is because of the stigma of being a drug user. And East is telling his son's story to end that stigma around getting help for opioid use. There's a stigma around asking for help. There's a stigma around talking about stuff. There's a not in my family, uh, this is too close. That stigma is very strong and that stigma blocks people uh, because of shame or embarrassment or whatever from going out and getting help. East's son is now in full recovery. If people need help, please call Clay Behavioral Health Center at 904-291-5561. If you don't seek help there, please seek help somewhere. Reporting, this is Drew Cosgrave, First Coast News, on your side.